In a remote corner of West Africa lives a community of chimpanzees who are making us rethink the nature of chimps and the boundaries between apes and early humans. Recently, photographer Franz Lanting and I traveled to southeast Senegal to enter the world of this unusual group of chimps. And each day before dawn, we hiked out to find them. These are savanna woodland chimps. Unlike Jane Goodall's chimps, who live in deep forest, this group lives in more open country, much like the landscape where the first humans evolved. And that's one idea that intrigued anthropologist Dr. Jill Preetz and led her to this remote region of Senegal, where she became the first to study savanna chimps. It wasn't easy. It took her four years just to habituate the chimps to her presence. For several weeks, we joined Jill as she followed the chimps on foot from well before dawn until well after dark. We averaged 10 to 15 miles a day over rough terrain and in temperatures that often exceeded 100 degrees. We got to know the chimps through Jill's eyes. And saw moments both playful and intimate. Nickel is a first-time mother with a two-month-old daughter, Teva. Young Mike loves to be with the new baby. Jill spends most days observing the chimps, and they spend most of their time on the move, looking for food. Much of their diet is leaves and fruit, but one day we saw something rare. An older male, Sibiru, caught a young vervet monkey and ate it. And last summer, Jill witnessed something that no one had ever seen before. She saw a female chimp make and use a weapon to kill a bush baby. This is actually a spear that um, an adult female named Lucille, that we call Lucille, made to try and obtain a bush baby. So what she did was break off a, a live branch and then um, used it to jab into the hole where the bush baby was in an effort to get it, but she was unsuccessful. Jill's discovery made headlines and opened up a world of new questions. Who knows what this small group of chimps will reveal to us next? <laughs> 